Critics protested outside a South Florida mosque tonight, some calling for it to be shut down. They're upset over the terror-related arrests of the mosque's imam and his father. But some questions are if the protesters are going too far. CBS 4's Carrie Codd has more. Several dozen protesters gathered in front of this Mark 8 mosque Tuesday night with a message. We believe that this mosque should be shut down. The members of the mosque had a message of their own. Anti-Muslim bigots, that's all it is. The uproar comes just weeks after the imam, or leader of the mosque, Ishar Khan, was arrested along with his father and four others, accused of sending at least $50,000 to terrorist groups. Protesters say the feds need to investigate the mosque's funding and close it until it's fully vetted. Show us the money. Where is the money of this mosque coming from? And where is it being sent? But the Muslim community members say the feds have already done that. The books are open to the government, obviously. The FBI, the U.S. attorney has already accessed those. If they had any doubt whatsoever that there was activity going on in the mosque, I'm sure that there would be other indictments and other charges, but there's not. There was at least one friendly discussion between the two sides, and each side waved American flags, talked about freedoms, and clapped after singing America the Beautiful. But the protesters believe the mosque's website preaches hatred and violence, recruiting terrorists. I would say to everyone at this mosque, Mosque. As long as you're standing here, you are complicit in these crimes. The Muslim community, however, says the mosque is peaceful. Is this mosque recruiting terrorists or funding terrorists? Abs it's a ridiculous question. Not funding terrorism, not funding terror, any nothing like that is happening. Only thing people do come here, they come here and pray.